Hi, this is James Banbury, Managing Director of Sugarbite. Um, just wanted to create a quick video just to show you one of the ways that we found in Sugar to make logging calls very, very quick and very easy. So I had a customer uh, contact me today asking uh, about ways to make logging calls a lot faster for their telesales team. Now, I'm a major fan of um, not really taking shortcuts in this area. I believe the CRM best practice is to go into a record, review all of the information that you have on that particular uh, contact or lead, um, and, and review the call history, review meetings, tasks, and notes, and then make that call. But this particular use case is really around uh, telesales, making as many calls as possible uh, in the fastest uh, way. And when you have a telesales team of I don't know, it could be hundreds. Any efficiency savings that you can make to shorten the time that it actually takes to log a call um, could end up being thousands of pounds a month saved in, in efficiencies. So um, I come up with uh, a solution that I just wanted to run past you in this video, just in case this was of any use uh, for you really. So what I've came up with is a way to log a call from the list view. Imagine you've just bought some data, I don't know, let's say you bought a thousand uh, contacts or, or targets from a data supplier and you wanted to put a telesales team um, in place to uh, run through a list of records to, and log those calls in a very quick way. What I've created is uh, three new fields and, and for this example I'm just using the leads module for this. So I've created these, these three new fields here last call date, new call notes, and last call notes. Ignore the uh, double S on there. Um, so I've created them in Studio, and I've added these fields to the list view layout of the leads module. And the way that it works is I would run through each record um, at a time, edit the row, and simply put in my, my call notes in this uh, box here. So uh, we discussed X, Y, and Z, and then simply save. And what the workflow is actually doing is taking that information, creating a related call record related to this lead, and, uh, and placing uh, the last call date into this field and the last call notes into this field. So let's just take a quick look at how this was uh, actually made. And I'd also like to take this time to apologize for the rather sickening pink reddish uh, menu bar. I can't remember exactly how I changed it to that, so um, apologies for that. Uh, this is also done in the advanced workflow tool that's available in the Enterprise Edition of Sugar. So let me open up this process definition and I'll show you how it's, it's created. It's actually very, uh, very simple. So the workflow is triggered when the new call field, and that's that one that I put in the, the, the new call notes, uh, is simply not empty. That's what triggers this uh, workflow to start. The second step in the workflow is to create a related record in the calls module. And in here, I can specify that the description of the call is indeed taking data from that leads field, the new call notes field. I can also in here specify the subject of the call as well. And the next step is to update the last call notes field. Remember, when you're running through the list, it's, it's, a nice, it's nice to be able to see what was the actual last uh, uh, call that you'd had with that person. So this step in the workflow is simply taking that data from that field and placing it into the last call notes uh, field here in Sugar. The next step, and I probably could have combined these two together, but I wanted to make sure that uh, when I empty when I empty the new call notes field, that that's one of the later actions. 
And so what I will do is update the last call date. I simply done that by adding one minute to that particular date time field. And the other action that I did in here, if I can find it, was to update the new call notes field um, with an empty value. So basically empty that field. And then finishing off with the, uh, the end part of the process. So going back to the list view in leads, um, this is the one that this is the call note that I just placed. Of course, I can add an additional call to this uh, record. We discussed A, B and C, let's say. So I'll save that. It's placed that data into the last call notes field. It's emptied the new call notes field. So that's ready to be um, used again. And it's updated the last call date there as well. Now, if we go into this lead record, you will see that it, the workflow has also created those two um, additional uh, call records in here. So this is quite important uh, to make sure that we are um, able to report on the number of calls made, let's say, by a telesales agent using Sugar. And that's it really. That's all I wanted to show you. I think it's, uh, it's a very fast way of logging call records. Again, it's not my pre preferred method because standard CRM best practice is to go into the record first, preview all of the last calls and meetings and tasks and notes and emails, and then reach out to that, that contact and make that call. Um, but this is uh, it's certainly a method that could be used in a telesales environment to log calls in a very fast way, yet also be able to see some details around the last call notes.